Okay, guys. So we're going to go over how to read this mechanical scale because this is where things can get confusing, okay? With a no normal ruler, you read lines left to right, starting from zero and then reading whatever measurement comes all the way, whether it be eight and a half or eight and a quarter or something like that. With mechanical scales, it's a little bit different. So I'm going to look at this example here, and I know that this one represents one foot because I have 48 divisions in my gross measurement scale. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look at my gross measurement scale and determine if I'm measuring feet or inches. In this case, I'm measuring feet. So the way you use a mechanical scale is that you take the object that you are measuring, and in this case, it's this yellow line, and you set it to the nearest whole number of gross measurement. In this case, starting from zero, I have one and two. It wouldn't go to three, because it would not extend and it would cover one and hang past my end mark down here. So I know that my first number is gonna be two. So I would write the number two and I would say feet. Now, then I'm gonna look at my gross measurement. I know that this distance right here represents a foot and I also know that there are 12 inches in a foot. And I know that I can say one, two, three, four, five, six inches is half of a foot. So if I look between the number zero and one, I have one, two, three, four divisions. Well, I know that that's zero and one inch, and I know that if there are four divisions, that represents one quarter of an inch. And then I look and see how far into my fine measurement my object extends, and I can see it extends to one inch, two inch, about two and a quarter inches. So I'd write two feet, two and one quarter. And I can put the inch marks there if I want to. That's how you read a mechanical scale that is accurate to the one foot because of the fine measurement having 48 divisions.